How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to another Terraria Top 5. Today we're going to be looking at my personal Top 5 Wings in Terraria. Wings are obviously an accessory that allow you to fly through the air like a bird. And just before we get started though, when I pick my Top 5s, it's not just about raw stats. I don't just go and pick the Top 5 strongest ones and go, ooh, they're the Top 5. Um, I think about a lot of different things. A big thing for me is when you're playing the game, how easy are the resources to collect them? When are they available in your playthrough? So, you know, ease of acquiring. Welcome to the Terraria launching pad, where we're going to be flying up this wall to test both the flight height of the wings and also the speed that we can ascend in. So, we're going to do a test for each of the top five wings, and then also I'm going to go a bit into how you can acquire them and talk about why I'm chose them for that particular rank on the list. So let's get started, I can't wait. Number five on the list is the Pixie Wings. Pixie Wings are acquired by beating up Pixies in the Hallowed Biomes and they drop Pixie Dust, which you need a hundred of. The reason I like to collect Pixie Wings early on in my adventures is Pixies are fairly common and they drop a fair amount of their Pixie Dust. Also, pixie dust is used in a lot of crafting uh, recipes. It's used in potions and a lot of magical items too. And here we are doing the flight test for the pixie wings. And here we are. So ranks the lowest out of my choices. Requires, as I said, it needs pixie dust and 20 souls of flight. It can fly you 65 blocks high with an 8% boost to your speed. And as I mentioned, it's used in a lot of other items too. It's easy to acquire pretty early in hard mode, and that's why it's number five on my list. Coming in at number four are the Harpy Wings. The reason I've put Harpy Wings number four is that because the resources needed to get them are fairly common in Terraria, and you need the giant Harpy Feather, which drops from Harpies. Gee, big, big uh, surprise there. Uh, the reason I've chosen it too is Harpies can actually be farmed in pre-hard mode, which makes them quite a common resource because you'll end up fighting a lot of them if you go up into space. So they can be farmed pretty easily and they're not too strong. The giant harpy feather is a little bit on the rare side, but you can also farm for wyverns as well while you're up there. And nice timing, wyvern. You illustrated my point fantastically. So you need souls of flights for most wings anyway, and you can fight harpies while you're doing it. And giant harpy wings, flying tests, let's go, 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 go! Okay, so as I mentioned, they need one giant harpy feather. They can fly you up 72 blocks vertical height. They have a bonus of 18% ascent speed. And what's awesome about them is you can farm some parts of it pre-hard mode, which makes them really, really easy to get early into hard mode. Number three on my list is the Leaf Wings. The Leaf Wings can be bought or purchased from the Witch Doctor during hard mode at night time if he lives in a jungle biome for one Platinum. And that's the, one of the reasons they rate so highly on my list. You don't actually need to be fighting any mobs to acquire them early on. And the one Platinum price is pretty steep. But if you've been saving and making a few farms pre-hard mode, you should be able to get them pretty much straight away. And here we are, ready for the Leaf Wings flight test. Let's go. And here we are. So, as I said, they cost one platinum when the Witch Doctor lives in a jungle biome. They get you up 81 blocks vertical flight and give you plus 8 to your ascent speed. The big thing about these and why they're number three on my list is you can buy them as soon as you get to hard mode, which is amazing. And you can pretty much be flying straight away. And number two on my list is the festive wings. You get the festive wings from fighting this delightful Ever Scream, which is one of the mini bosses in the Frost Moon. When you kill him, he's got about a 1.1 to 1.6% chance to drop the wings depending how far you are into the frost moon. 
Now, obviously, you know, if you're going to grind away for your very own festive wings, you might want to use an AFK farm because doing this over and over again is going to get a little bit tough. So let me show you something that I use. If you're trying to get the festive wings, using an AFK farm like this is a great way to grind away at lots of ever screams to give yourself a really good chance of getting them. All right, here we are for the festive wings flight test. Let's get it going. Alrighty, and here we are. So number two is the festive wings. As I said, it drops from the ever screen during the frost moon with a pretty much a one to a one and a half percent chance. Flies you up 68, 86 percent, 86 blocks vertical flight. It's got a decent ascent speed and they look really cool while you're flying too. They have nice Christmas lights that actually light up during the night time, which is very, very cool. And number one on my list are the Fishron Wings. The Fishron Wings are acquired by fighting this lovely piggy fish here called Duke Fishron, who is a super fast, super hard boss that hits like a truck and is going to test all but the latest late game characters. Now, there's a lot of strategies to fight him, and I'd like to share one that I use right now. <laughs> so, obviously, if you want to grind for the fish run rings, they are a 1 in 15 chance dropping, or quite cool as a percentage, it's 6.66, which is the devil's number. Um, I do recommend using some sort of AFK farm. Uh, here's one that I've built that's really handy for farming Duke Fishron. And you could add uh, minions if you want. I mean, he's a very quick boss, but things like ravens can keep up with him as well. And there's just an actuated block in the side here that I use to fish out of to summon him in the first place. Little cool thing about the Fisheron wings is they have a very fast flight speed both in the air and underwater, which I guess kind of comes from the fact that the boss you get them from is a bit of a fish. But uh, it's something to add to, so it really gives you full mobility in the game. Having the fish on wings, uh, they're very, very useful. And here we are for the Duke Fishron fish on wings flight test, and let's give them a go. Whoa, and as you can see, the fish on wings are quite he head heads and tails above the rest. Um, they have, as I mentioned, a 1L15 chance, or a 6.66, so cool. They have a 142 block vertical flight. They have a 58% ascent speed, so they actually have a bonus over all other wings. They can move freely in liquids, and wearing them is a bit of a status symbol that you have beaten one of the hardest bosses in the game too. And more than once, more than likely. Now, as my way of saying thanks to you guys that watch the whole video and stay to the end, I've actually got a bit of a secret thing I'd like to share with you. I've equipped the angel wings, which are some of the weakest wings in the game, but I'm going to show you how you can actually make them as strong, almost, as the Fisheron wings. And it comes down to accessories. A few accessories in Terraria actually boost your flight distance. Uh, Frost Spark boots, and most other boots for that matter, give you extra flight. Uh, Celestial stones give you a small buff to how far you can fly. And surprisingly, or maybe not if you think about the item, frog sleds give you a massive boost to your flight distance. So, just showing, I've got the angel wings on, and let's give it a test. And as you can see, with basic angel wings, we got nearly as high as fishron wings can get. Just a little extra thing I wanted to show you too. If you want to increase your flight distance, you can actually use the ice rod. When you use the ice rod, it makes a block of ice appear somewhere in the air where you've clicked. Now this is useful because if you're flying and your flight distance runs out, you can cast a block of ice under yourself, land, and then start flying again. So you can fly, 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 and as you start to fall back to the earth, just put a block of ice down and start flying again because any time your character touches down onto ground, it resets your flying time. Hey guys, thanks for spending some time with me again today. I'm really enjoying this new Top 5 series, and thanks for leaving all those suggestions in the comments. Let me know what you want to see for next week's Top 5, and I'm really looking forward to doing it. 
Okay, time for some shout outs as always. We've got CW2001's got a tongue twister for me. He's asked me to say, How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? A good cook could cook as much many cookies as a good cook could cook. Oh, I almost got there. But I started stumbling like right from the start. <laughs> Kian Hughes has asked me to say, My name is Jeff. <laughs> uh, do you have a friend called Jeff, Kian? <laughs> or is it a reference I'm not picking up? Okay, Anthony Guidas has asked me to say, Lion licked a lollipop. <laughs> nice one. And Anthony Steikert. Steikert? Stickert. No, I'm going to go with Steikert. I think I'm saying that right. He's asked me to say, ooh, MLG reference. Epic. <laughs> he said, I've got to say it excited. Epic 360 no scope. Woo. <laughs> oh, gosh. Love it. Hey, uh, guys, just need to say something about comments, too. Um, I was going through my comments the other day. You guys know I spend a fair bit of time each day doing comments. I love doing it. I looked in some of my videos and I noticed in some older videos, some of you have left me replies but you haven't used the reply option. If you're going to uh, answer, ask me a question or respond to something I've said, please make sure you click reply. You can reply to me on YouTube. Um, otherwise, it doesn't come up in my notifications and I'm not going to see it. So, yeah, if it's been like a couple of days and I haven't responded to you, it's probably because of that. So you'll see a little plus happy days if you've done it properly. And then I get the notification and I can get back to you. Alrighty, guys, I've had a great time as always. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this video. It really helps me to know what you're loving and what you're not so much loving. I'd like to think you love everything, but I know that's not always the case. And um, yeah, leave a comment. As I said, suggest what you want to see for next week's top five or for anything else for that rather. And if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, come and join us. Be happy with us. And uh, what do I normally say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's the most important part. Stay happy, and I'll see you next time. This is Happy Days signing out. See ya. And you can see that the Ice Golem's doing a bit of a dance here to his uh, rave disco tunes, and his uh, fireworks are going everywhere here. And he's having a great time. <laughs>